you look after Israel while I'm gone? Well, you don't have to ask me that, Daniel. I'll do my best to see that no harm comes to him. off the road to come here now i remember how long are we gonna stay here well not long i hope except i'm gonna have to leave you for a little while ain't you gonna take me with you not this time that's why i had to talk with you now, i want you to stay here with gabe and i want you to do everything he tells you to do would you do that for me and you won't be scared no, Pa. I won't be scared. You be a good boy. Captain's calling you. Go back to sleep. Captain, I want you to remember if Boone don't come back with that money, we're going to hold you responsible. You'll bring it back. You know what you have to do. No. Remember, you've only got till sunup. I'm eating it, so I reckon it ain't been poisoned. Thank you. Well, that's spoken like a little gentleman. Then I must say that you're dressed like a gentleman, too. I may be little, but I ain't a gentleman. And I ain't gonna be one either, school or no school. <laughs> Seems as though I've blundered on a rather touchy subject. You mind if I sit down? I find the time passes faster if you have someone to talk to. I'd figure you'd be more comfortable at the other side of the room. Are those four? I'd rather sit where I can keep an eye on them. I know how you feel, mister. Sit down if you mind to. Don't see it could do us any harm. Thank you. Do you know where my pa went? Yes, Israel, I know. He's coming back, Amy. Yes, he is coming back. Nobody's gonna hurt him, are they? I give you my word, Israel, that no harm will come to him while he's gone. Do you believe him, Gabe? Well, I don't know why, but I reckon I do. Now eat your supper, Israel. Thank you for your vote of confidence. Well, I wouldn't call it confidence. It's mostly because I can't figure where you fit into this. Don't try, Gabe. You'll only get more confused. I don't know if the rest of you took note of it or not, but that captain doesn't seem to care much for our company. I don't recollect he ever did. That's what I mean. I always figured I was as good as any man, except he never treated me like he thought I was. Well, that's because you never had no school. I'll make you bets that driver ain't had no schooling either, but there they said, like there was long-time friends. Go well, take a look. And don't let it fret you, Timbo. It ain't gonna be for long. You got something in your mind? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been thinking when we leave here, we ain't gonna have much use for the captain. Plan on killing him? <laughs> I ain't gonna let him run loose. Well, then let's do it now so we can get some sleep. Yeah, the trouble with that is we don't know what the captain told Boone. Oh, that's right, that's right. The captain Harris is a cautious man. Could be Mr. Boone's gonna want to see him alive and healthy before we get paid off. That sleeping is a good idea. Ross, why don't you stay on guard for a while? No sense all of us staying awake. I'll spell you in an hour or two. Uh... Luther, it's me. Dano, what in tarnation are you doing back here? You're supposed to be part way to Philadelphia. Are you going to open up or do I have to kick the door down? Be right down. is this all about? No questions, Luther. Just take my word. I'm going to need your help. Oh, where's Israel? Well, he's all right for now, and we'll be the sun up. Now, that just plain don't make sense. Well, it makes more sense than you know. Now, I'm going to need a fresh horse. A fresh horse? Yeah, mine's plumb wore out, and I've got 40 miles to go. You mean tonight? I mean tonight. Well, I can get you the horse, but, man, you need some food and rest. Well, you just get the horse, Luther. Well, if you're dead set on it. Oh, I'm going to need a pistol. Oh, well, you'll find one behind the bar over there. And make yourself a hot rum. You look like you could use it. It's a good idea, Luther. Late, I know, but I saw your light still burning. I'm supposed to meet a gentleman. Is your name Jason? Yes, sir. Then I'm to say that Mr. Logan sent me. Those are the words, sir. Now, if you'll come with me, I'll get you what you came for. I don't suppose I have to count it. No, sir. You can take my word. It's there, just the way I was told. All right, Jason. Well, I'll be going then. Daniel, who's that? No questions, Luther. Well, I can ask you if you found the gun, can I? Yeah, you can, and I did. And the rum? Just keep it hot for me. You're in some kind of trouble, Daniel. Now, if you'll just tell me. If I don't tell you, then you won't know if somebody asks you a question. Well, I can raise the constable at daylight, and in the morning I can round up some men. Luther, just forget I was here and thank you for the horse. It... <laughs> 
It's your fault, boy. Looks like you've got us in a mess of trouble. What time is it? It's almost three. It'll be daylight in an hour or so. Mother, I'm glad or sorry. Sure tired of this waiting. Keep wondering what's going to happen. I wish I could tell you, Gabe. Okay. Getting almost time to move out. Well, if you want anything to eat, you better get it now, then get the gear packed. We won't waste any time once Boone gets here. Yes, sir. I better saddle the horses, too. No, there's time enough for that. We'll wait till it gets light. Timbo. Come on, Timbo, wake up. Huh? Shot time. Huh? Watch this start the fire. Cross, go. Wake up. Oh, um, Come on, cross. Uh, get our gear together. You know, pack the saddlebags, roll these blankets up. I'm going to look at the horses. Has my pa come back yet, Gabe? No, he's not come back yet. He's not due to sunrise. I'll let you know. You go back to sleep. Go on, sleep. Don't shoot, mister. I'm unarmed. I ain't got a penny on me. Well, this is no holdup. All I want to do is trade horses with you. Trade horses? Yeah, mine fell and came down lame. He'll carry on into Salem, but he won't get me to where I have to go on time. I don't like your proposition, mister, so step aside. Now, I don't like doing business this way, but you give me no choice. Will you listen? No, I'm listening, I'm listening. All right, I want you to take my lame horse to Luther Michaels at the Golden Cup. And I'll bring you your horse the first chance I get. Here's some money for your trouble. When are you plan on jumping them? Soon, I'll let you know. Hold, you stay with the horses. Welcome back, Mr. Boone. I trust you brought the money. I brought it. And I left it down the road a piece until I make sure that Gabe and my son are still alive. Captain, that could be a trap. You don't think I'd gamble with my son's life, do no, you? No, 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 no. Israel's all right, Mr. Boone. Go on in and see for yourself. Just a minute. Yeah, Captain, you're getting awful careless. Mr. Boone might have brought a gun with him. 
for yourself. I'll do that. I'll sure do that. All right, go on. I'm fine, Pa, but I'm real glad you're back. You satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied. Now, where's the money? It's in an elderberry bush about 100 yards up the road. You won't have any trouble finding it. What are you going to do, Dan? I don't know, Gabe, until the time comes. Israel, no matter what, I want you to stay put, do you understand? No matter what. I understand, Pa. Anything I can do? Oh, you stay here, Gabe. Israel may need all the help he can get before we're done. What you wanted, gentlemen. Now you may take it and leave. Timbo, have a look. All in? Sure looks like it. It sure feels like it. <laughs> you satisfied? No. No, not complete. You got what you wanted. What else am I supposed to do? What about the others? That, Mr. Lynch, is my affair. Captain. Turn around. Lynch, put that gun away. No, not this time, Captain. And about the others. Ain't your affair no longer. I'm taking over now. I suppose you're all in this with him? That's right, Captain. We came to the conclusion that we just can't trust you anymore. I got the money for you, didn't I? Well, that's right, Captain. We, we, we appreciate it. We really do. But we don't have any need for you anymore. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to tell you just once more. You get on those horses and get out of here. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Have us ride out, leave the rest of you here together? First place you got, you can sink the law on us. That's just what you do. If I had wanted to bring in the law, I could have done it a long time ago. Sure, Captain, sure. Now, you've been scheming something right along. I don't know what it is, but you ain't getting away with it. Because now we got insurance. What? We aim to take Mr. Boone's boy with us. Just in case you aim to follow. If any one of you so much as lays a hand on that boy, I will kill you, Lynch. No, Captain, no, you won't kill me, because I'm going to kill you first. Now, you've been given orders long enough. You've been kicking me around like I was a dog, and I've been taking it because of that money. You're the only one who knew where to get it. Though well, things are different now, Captain. I don't need you no more. Hogue, get his gun. That kind of pulls your fangs, don't it, Captain? I reckon you won't be interfering with us no longer. You neither, Mr. Boone. You know, for a while, I figured I'd have to shoot you, too. Now I doubt you'll give us much trouble. If you want to keep your boy alive. If you touch my son, Lynch, Harris won't get a chance to kill you. I'll be there first. Well, now, listen to you and your big talk. Mr. Boone, are you trying to scare me? I'm not trying to scare you. I'm trying to tell you. Do it, Captain. Just give me an excuse. Let my conscience set easy when I blow a hole through you. Cross. 
Go fetch Mr. Boone's boy. I told you, Captain, I've been looking forward to this. Go on. Stay here. That's my pie. I gotta help him. You'll only get yourself hurt and you'll hurt me. Now your paw's gonna be all right. And it was it was Lynch's idea about the mother. Shut up, Timbo. You want me to tie him up? No, that doesn't fit in with my plans, Mr. Bone. I'll take that field report now, Lynch. All right, now get over there. Got you lined up, I ought to shoot the lot of you. Go on, get on your horses and get out of here. Captain! You heard me do it before I changed my mind. Go on, take it with you. It's worth it to me not to have to look at you anymore. Timbo, you wait for me. Go? Yeah, the chances are they'll all get greedy and kill each other anyway. Well, then why let them go? Because it's my $20,000, Mr. Boone. It's my privilege to do with it as I please. If it so happens, I don't want to... Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Nobody's come to any harm. Now, please don't make me shoot you. Now, let me have it. head start and then you can be on your way. I owe you my life, Mr. Boone. Lynch would have killed me. It could be you thanked me too soon. You know, I still have to turn you over to the law, don't you? What for? Well, the last I heard, grave robbing was still a crime. You mean that coffin? There's no corpse in that. There never has been. Except that Lynch and the others don't know that. That's why they won't be back. You mean this has all been a put-up job? That's right. To keep them from destroying an old lady. You see, Mr. Boone, I haven't been entirely honest with you. Colonel Cloud was my stepfather. My mother thinks he's a hero. Why should I let her think any differently? Does that make any sense to you? Well, it's beginning to. You know, the sun is scarcely up, and it's already been a very long day. Perhaps this time you'd uh, join me in that drink? Well, this time, I'd be glad to. 